How's it going? Mike with Maxonics here today to talk to you about the MX2 Deluxe High to Low Level Converter. The MX2 is designed for an application where you want to keep your factory head unit, but you want to add one four channel or two two channel amplifiers. Locate the speaker wires on your factory radio harness, and you're going to connect those to the corresponding speaker wires for the MX2 harness. Now that you've made all of your connections from the factory radio output to the speaker wire input for the MX2 as well as your chassis ground from factory to chassis ground on the MX2, you can see we've used electrical tape which is acceptable. Preferred method is solder but not everyone is familiar with solder. Now you'll plug the MX2 wiring harness into the MX2 itself. All right, so on the other side of the MX2, you've got another series of connections that need to be made. The blue wire is your remote output. This goes to the amplifier or amplifiers it will be powering after the MX2. This will turn on the amplifiers when the MX2 turns on. Your yellow wire is your 12 volt constant. This needs to be connected to the battery with a 5, five amp inline fuse within 6 inches of your battery. The orange wire goes to the back of the head unit. The, on the back of the head unit, you need to locate the source where you have a 12 volt switch supply so that it's at 0 volts when the head unit's off and 12 volts when the head unit is on. The black wire is for your vehicle ground, chassis ground. The next step is connecting the RCAs from the outputs of the MX2 to the inputs of your amplifier. For this example, we're going to use a 4 channel amplifier. Connect your right and left front RCAs, output MX2 to channels 1 and 2. Then your rear channels output from the MX2 to channels 3 and 4 on the inputs of your amplifier. Now this is just one example. You can also use two two-channel amplifiers, one two-channel and one mono block, or one five-channel amplifier where you use the RCA outputs from the MX2 to the four channel inputs on the five channel and the fifth channel is auto summed. All right, the final series of steps for the MX2 are going to be your adjustments. The first adjustment is your high level input. This is based on the signal output voltage from your head unit. Factory head units in BMWs and Mercedes are closer to 40 volts because they have amplified system. But in a standard factory application, you're gonna have approximately four to 10 volts. So we'll go to approximately 10 volts of signal input. Next adjustment will be our front high pass filter. The high pass filter allows you to adjust your frequency to your cutoff. Everything above this will be passed through and reproduced and sent to the amplifiers. So since we're using a four channel amplifier, we're gonna to go to about 12 o'clock position. But every application is different and it's dependent upon the speakers that you use. We'll repeat the same adjustment for our rear channel. 12 o'clock. And the final adjustment is going to be your output level. That's based on the uh, input level of your amplifiers, and in our case, that's 5 volts.